Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll look into the lives of stars who once had it all but then had heartbreaking disappointments, losing practically everything and exiting the entertainment world. Their stories, which range from financial challenges to personal issues to just falling out of favor in the ever-changing world of celebrity, are not only captivating but also warning ones. Join us as we follow the tumultuous journeys of notable people who suffered catastrophic losses. Now let us get started. Number 20. Edie Sedwick, born on April 20, 1943, in Santa Barbara, California, was a renowned model and actress known for her association with the versatile artist Andy Warhol. Edie became an icon of the 1960s through her involvement with the famous circle at Andy Warhol's The Factory. Despite her glamorous career, Edie Sedwick's personal life often found itself under the scrutiny of public attention, facing challenges from both her career and tumultuous personal life. Mental health issues and addiction impacted her life and career significantly. Despite the brevity and turmoil of Edie Sedwick's life, she remains an icon of an era of artistic innovation and freedom, leaving a lasting mark on cultural and artistic history. She passed away on November 16, 1971. Number 19. Edie Brickell, born Edie Arisa Brickell on March 10, 1966, in Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas, is a singer, songwriter, and lead vocalist of the band Edie Brickell and New Bohemians. Prominent in the 1980s and 1990s, known for her warm voice and the hit, What I Am, Edie Brickell's band attracted attention with a fusion of rock, folk, and pop. Ed's personal life became a subject of interest when she married the famous artist Paul Simon. Their relationship faced ups and downs, becoming a public spectacle. In 2014, both were arrested for a family violence incident, and a year later, they announced their divorce after 20 years together. Despite the challenges, Edie Brickell remains a unique figure in the music world, showcasing her creativity and distinctive personal talent. Number 18. Iggy Pop, born James Newell Osterberg Jr. on April 21, 1947, in Muskegon, Michigan, gained fame in the 1960s with the punk rock band The Stooges. His iconic works like, Lust for Life, and, The Passenger, solidified his reputation in the music industry. However, Iggy Pop's life also harbored controversy. Issues with drug addiction and provocative behavior led to his ostracization in the 1970s. Public perception changed as they witnessed their idol's continuous descent. He lost favor and standing in the entertainment world at that time. Despite facing personal challenges, Iggy Pop's career endured substantial impact. He is still highly regarded for his contributions to music and culture. Number 17. Billy Whitelaw, born Billy Honor Whitelaw on June 6, 1932, in Coventry, England, gained fame in the 1950s, particularly for her roles in works by director Samuel Beckett. The peak of her career came with a BAFTA award for Best Actress in Twisted Nerve in 1968. However, Billy Whitelaw's life was not without controversy. Speculation and rumors surrounding her personal relationships created waves of debate. Despite public attitudes varying toward this information, Billy Whitelaw's artistic success contributes significantly to the artistic and cultural legacy. Number 16. Patsy Klein, born as Virginia Patterson Hensley on September 8, 1932, in Winchester, Virginia, remains an enduring figure in the annals of country music history. 
revered for her poignant ballads, including, Crazy, I Fall to Pieces, and, Walking After Midnight, Patsy Cline's distinctive voice and unique style have left an indelible mark on generations of artists. Her life was marked by numerous challenges, navigating through career highs and lows, tumultuous romantic relationships, including two failed marriages, and the tragic loss of her daughter in a car accident in 1961. Sadly, Patsy Cline's own life was cut short in a plane crash just two years later, at the pinnacle of her career. Though her untimely death at the age of 30 was a profound loss, Patsy Cline's name and musical legacy persist as timeless classics, celebrated and honored within the realm of country music. Number 15. Rita Hayworth, born Margarita Carmen Cancino on October 17, 1918, in Brooklyn, New York, was a famous actress and model during the Golden Age of Hollywood. Renowned for her enchanting beauty and exceptional dancing, she became an icon in the 1940s and 1950s, starring in notable films like, Gilda, The Lady from Shanghai, and, Pal Joey. Rita Hayworth's private life often became a subject of speculation and challenges, especially regarding her marriages and personal relationships. Despite the complexities of her life, Rita Hayworth's contributions to the world of acting and her undeniable beauty solidify her as a significant screen legend remembered by audiences. Number 14. Karen Carpenter, born Karen Ann Carpenter on March 2, 1950, in New Haven, Connecticut, was a renowned singer and musician, best known as the lead vocalist of the Carpenters alongside her brother Richard Carpenter. The duo produced hits like, Close to You, We've Only Just Begun, and, Rainy Days and Mondays. Karen faced difficulties in her life, battling health and nutritional issues. Sadly, after years of struggling with a devastating illness, Karen Carpenter passed away from heart failure due to malnutrition in 1983, at the age of 32. Her premature death was a tragic end to a short but illustrious career, leaving a lasting impact on music enthusiasts who continue to admire her talent and contributions. Number 13. Janice Siegel, born on July 23, 1952, in Brooklyn, New York, stands as a prominent American jazz and pop singer, celebrated for her significant contributions to the Manhattan transfer since the 1970s. Siegel's exceptional vocal talent and songwriting prowess played a pivotal role in the group's success, garnering multiple Grammy Awards. Despite her musical triumphs, Janice Siegel encountered financial challenges throughout her career, grappling with financial instability and varying income from her musical endeavors. At times, these difficulties led her to auction off homes and assets to meet financial obligations. Nevertheless, Janice Siegel's enduring impact and influence persist in the realms of jazz and pop music. Number 12. Joan Bennett, born Joan Geraldine Bennett on February 27, 1910, in Palisades, New Jersey, was a famous actress during the Golden Age of Hollywood. Starting her acting career in the 1920s, she quickly became one of the leading stars of the silver screen. Bennett appeared in successful films such as, Father of the Bride, 1950, and the TV series, Dark Shadows, 1966-1971 a classic soap opera. During her peak years, Bennett faced a scandal involving a love affair with a married wealthy man, which, when exposed by radio and major newspapers, affected her star status. Subsequently, her career dwindled, and she struggled to find significant roles. 
Despite the complex aspects of Joan Bennett's life, her contributions to the art of acting in the film industry are remembered and honored. Number 11. Donna Reed, born Donna Bell Mullinger on January 27, 1921, in Denison, Iowa, rose to fame in the 1940s, particularly after her role in the film, It's a Wonderful Life, 1946. She won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in, From Here to Eternity, 1953. However, Reed's career faced turbulence when she was accused of financial mismanagement. Rumors and public outrage impacted her standing in the film industry. Despite criticism and disappointment, loyal fans continued to support Donna Reed. The tarnishing of her reputation significantly affected her career, but her unparalleled contributions to acting remain a lasting part of cinematic history. Number 10. Joan Hackett, full name Joan Ann Hackett, was born on March 1, 1934, in East Harlem, New York. She was a renowned actress in the film industry, known for her notable works such as The Group, 1966, Will Penny, 1968, and Support Your Local Sheriff, 1969. Despite being highly praised for her acting talent, Joan Hackett's career faced challenges dealing with the pressures and pitfalls of the entertainment industry. Rumors and controversies about her personal life also significantly influenced the public perception of Joan Hackett. She lost significant contracts and gradually fell into isolation and obscurity. Nevertheless, Joan Hackett's passing in 1983 remains a substantial loss to the world of acting, and her talent and contributions are still remembered and honored in the film industry. Number 9. Richard Burton, born Richard Walter Jenkins on November 10, 1925, in Ponterhydfen, Wales, rose to prominence in the 1950s with notable roles in films such as The Last Days of Dolwyn, 1949, and My Cousin Rachel, 1952. Despite his undeniable acting talent, Burton's career was significantly affected by a tumultuous personal life. His controversial relationships, particularly with actress Elizabeth Taylor, and his struggles with alcoholism took a toll on both his personal and professional life. While the public continued to admire his acting prowess, the persistent rumors and speculations contributed to a decline in his career. Richard Burden passed away on August 5, 1984, but his legacy endures through the remarkable artistic contributions he made to the world of cinema. Number 8. Dana Plato, full name Dana Michelle Plato, born on November 7, 1964, in Maywood, California, gained fame for her role as Kim Drummond in the popular sitcom, Different Strokes, which aired from 1978 to 1986. Plato started her acting career early and showed rare talent as a young performer. However, she faced serious personal issues, including childhood sexual abuse, drug addiction, and struggles with mental and financial challenges. Dana Plato tragically passed away at the age of 34 in 1999, in impoverished and dark circumstances, concluding a life filled with tragedies. Her story serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges that celebrities may face. Number 7. Peggy Lee, whose full name was Norma Delaris Eggstrom, 
was born on May 26, 1920, in Jamestown, North Dakota. Renowned for her distinctive singing voice and versatility in genres like jazz, pop, and blues, Lee achieved success with hits such as, Fever, Is That All There Is, and, Why Don't You Do Right. Despite her musical triumphs, she grappled with severe stage fright and anxiety, negatively impacting her mental health. Eventually, these challenges led to the loss of her ability to perform and appear in public, marking a poignant chapter in her life. Peggy Lee's journey was one of both triumphs and personal struggles, leaving behind a significant and enduring legacy in the realm of music. Number 6. Sharon Tate, full name Sharon Marie Tate, born on January 24, 1943, in Dallas, Texas, gained fame through roles in films such as, Valley of the Dolls, 1967, and, The Fearless Vampire Killers, 1967, directed by Roman Polanski, whom she later married. Sharon Tate's influence in the film industry was still developing when she was tragically murdered by Charles Manson's group in 1969 while eight months pregnant. This event shocked and reverberated through the artist community and the public worldwide. Despite the heartbreaking end to Sharon Tate's life, she is remembered not only as a talented actress but also as a fashion and beauty icon of the 1960s. Number 5. Lena Horn, full name Lena Mary Calhoun Horn, was born on June 30, 1917, in Brooklyn, New York. She was renowned for her exceptional singing talent and significant contributions to music and film, with hits like, Stormy Weather, and, Love Me or Leave Me. During the 1950s, Horn faced adversity as she was blacklisted due to suspected associations with the Communist Party, significantly impacting her career. She almost fell into obscurity in the entertainment industry. However, Lena Horne remains an enduring symbol of strength and talent in the history of American music and cinema. She passed away on May 9, 2010. Number 4. Claudia Cardinali, full name Claude Josephine Rose Cardinali, is an Italian actress born on April 15, 1938, in Tunis, Tunisia. She became a prominent star in Italian and international cinema, known for her captivating beauty and outstanding talent. Starting her acting career in Italy in the late 1950s, Cardinali quickly became an icon of the 1960s and 1970s, collaborating with renowned directors like Federico Fellini and Sergio Leone. However, her career declined in the mid-1970s, with roles losing their allure and impact. Despite being 84 years old, Claudia Cardinali continues to take on supporting roles in films, although not achieving the same level of success as in her golden years. Nevertheless, she remains an important figure in the history of cinema. Number 3. Annette Comer was born on August 7, 1939, in Dawson, Texas. She gained fame for her diverse acting career in films and television from the 1960s to the 1980s, catching the audience's attention with roles in The Loved One, 1965, and The Appaloosa, 1966. Comer received positive reviews from critics. Despite an initial success in the mid-1960s, her career did not see further breakthroughs, often relegated to supporting her minor roles. Comer's screen presence diminished in the 1970s. While her career may not have reached a list status, Annette Comer continues to make significant contributions to the film industry, maintaining the admiration of her fans for her talent and professionalism. Number 2. 
Number 2. Connie Francis, born Canetta Rosa Maria Franconero on December 12, 1938, in Newark, New Jersey, was a singer and songwriter with a powerful influence in the 1950s and 1960s. She became famous for her sweet and diverse voice, performing in various music genres such as pop, rock and roll, country, and folk. Experiencing a strong career ascent in the early 1960s, Connie faced a traumatic incident when she was assaulted by two strangers after a performance. This psychological shock temporarily led to a loss of vision, and she had to halt her singing career for three years. The public deeply empathized with their beloved idol. Nevertheless, Connie Francis is remembered as one of the outstanding and influential female singers in the history of pop music. Number 1. Lenny Welch, born Leon Welch on May 15, 1940, in New York, gained fame in the 1960s for his warm voice, especially for the hit, Since I Fell For You, 1963. Welch's life underwent notable upheavals as he became entangled in the whirlwind of art and personal life. He endured two failed marriages, dealt with drug-addicted children, and faced legal issues. Lenny himself struggled with alcohol addiction. Rumors and allegations surrounding him disrupted public perception. Although he missed out on significant artistic opportunities due to these controversies, he continued to make important contributions to the music industry. Despite facing significant challenges, Lenny Welch remains a music icon with a distinctive voice and timeless hit songs. Thank you for joining us on this interesting journey through the transformations of iconic figures. If these stories intrigue you, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with those who love compelling narratives, and subscribe for more riveting content. Your support fuels our passion for unraveling the untold stories of these influential personalities. Stay tuned for more revelations, and until next time, keep the curiosity alive. See you soon.